series is for the aspiring homemaker that may still live at home or the new homemaker that just got into it or maybe the seasoned homemaker that just needs a couple of reminders or refresh a refreshment course. These are all tips and tricks and do's and don'ts that I believe all homemakers should know. Welcome back to Humble Homemaking. This is episode five of the Homemaking for Dummies series. If you are new here and this is the first video you clicked on, I will link the entire playlist up above and down below. But let's get started with today's episode. The first tip I have for you, I'm sure you've heard it before, make the beds daily. Make it a habit to get up and make your bed every single morning. You don't have to do it super neat or nice. Just make it, just make the bed. Tighten the sheets down a little bit. Throw the duvet cover over the sheets. There is no right way or wrong way to make the bed. Well, the, the only wrong way of making the bed is not making the bed at all. But there's so many methods of making the bed. You can roll down the sheets and the blankets to the end of the bed so that when you get into bed, you just pull the covers over you. Or you can do it the fancy method like this picture right here. Whatever, just make the beds every single day. It's just so nice to get into a freshly made bed every night. And the next tip is to wash your sheets and change your pillowcases regularly. Wash my bedding once a week and then I change my pillowcases every three days. Fluff up the pillows in the dryer and it just make and it's just a nice feeling to get into clean sheets every night on top of the bed being made. Next tip is know how to hang a sweater up on a hanger so that it does not get ruined or stretched out in the shoulders. I will show you now how to do that. So you're going to lay your sweater out neck towards you and you're going to fold it directly in half, line up the arm sleeves, and then you're going to put it like the letter V and then you're going to put the hanger to mock the letter A, and then you're going to fold the bottom of the sweater over and through, and then the arms over and through. Feel free to replay this part as many times as you want, and I will also post it on my Instagram. Moving on, know how to fold a fitted sheet. I know a lot of people just crumple them up and throw them in a ball in the closet on the, or on the shelf, but know how to fold a, a fitted sheet so that it's nice and neat on the shelf. So I am going to show you how to fold a extra large fitted sheet for my California King. Let's go do that right now. Okay, so let's fold a fitted sheet in my tiny little laundry area. First things first, you're going to have it like a giant shower cap where it's right side up and then where it's right side um right side up and so that the seams are down like this and everything is tucked in all the corners are tucked in and you're gonna flip it and you're gonna have the sh shorter end the width of it where the corners go around the corners of the mattress and you're gonna pop those seams upwards so that it's reversed and then when it's like this you're going to Clap your hands together, have the seams meet, and then fold the right hand over the left hand. And then you're going to take your right hand and put it where your left hand is and take your left hand out. Then you're going to take your left hand and you're going to follow the seam all the way down to the other two corners. And when you get, whoopsies, come on now. Then when you get to the other two corners, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to do right hand over left. And then make sure all the seams are lined up. And at this point, you're going to take it over to a table and lay it down flat. So let's go do that. So now you're going to lay it on a flat surface, a table or the floor, and you should have a letter J where all the seams are or a letter C, whichever way you're facing. You're going to fold the top part down and then fold the bottom part up and then fold that in half and then fold that long strip into thirds. Part of it got clipped off on accident but into thirds and you will have a nice folded fitted sheet. This next one is really fun. Know how to fold a t-shirt. There's a couple different methods for this, but this in this episode, this method I'm going to show you is super fun. It takes me a little under 30 seconds because I like to be super nice and neat with it. So you're going to lay your t-shirt out like this and you're going to imagine one long line 
going from top to bottom, and then one line directly in the center. You're gonna have point A, point B, and point C. You're going to pinch point A, and then pinch point B, and then you're gonna cross over your hands, pinch point C, and then unfold it, pull your hands out. And then you're going to lay it backwards, and then fold the sleeve in, and fold it in half, and you have a nice folded shirt. On to the next one. Know how to fold towels properly. I know a lot of people are like, oh, this is the right way, or this is the right way, but this is the way that I was taught, and this is the way I will continue to fold my towels because it just looks nice and neat, and I like doing it this way, so let me show you how we fold towels properly. If you would fold them a different way, that's okay. If you don't fold them at all, that's okay. Lay your towel down in front of you and fold it into thirds bottom up, smooth it out, and then top down and smooth it out. Line up the edges as best as you can. And then you are going to fold it in half, end to end. And then you are just going to fold it once more. And voila, you have a folded towel. Now let's talk about having an easy method to view the clothes that are in your drawers. Now I prefer to hang up all of my clothes, but my husband's clothes and my son's clothes, I do fold and put away in drawers. My son's clothes are actually kept in little bins that I will show right here, but my husband's clothes, all of his are folded, except for his nice dress shirts, nice pants, and of course jackets and sweatshirts. Doing this saves space, makes it easy for you to look in the drawer, Pick out what you want to wear without having to rummage through piles in the drawers. Instead, you can just look at it in a neat little row, pick out your shirt, and get on with your day. Okay, so the next one is if you pull out a shirt out of the closet or out of your drawer and it's wrinkled but you don't have time to iron it, like I talked about in a previous episode, what you can do is you can grab an ice cube from the freezer, throw the ice cube in the dryer, throw the t-shirt in the dryer or whatever needs the wrinkles out, put it on medium temperature setting for about 15 minutes and let it tumble while you're doing your other things that you need to get done before pulling it out of the dryer and it will be wrinkle free. Next tip is to keep your dirty clothes hampers and clean clothes baskets separate. Never mix them up, never put dirty clothes in the clean clothes baskets. I don't know, I don't like germs, I like to keep them separate so hampers for the dirty clothes and for the clean clothes, laundry baskets to move them around the house. And while we are talking about dirty clothes hampers, Make sure that you are disinfecting and deodorizing your dirty clothes hampers regularly because dirty clothes are dirty and gross and, and we sweat and we, have, we produce dirts and oils so we wanna make sure that our dirty clothes hampers are clean and fresh because we don't want our rooms smelling funky. Speaking of cleaning and disinfecting laundry, let's talk about cleaning and disinfecting the laundry area, the laundry room. Maybe you got a laundry area like me. I'm not privileged with a little separate laundry room. I have a laundry area underneath my stairs. So make sure that you are keeping that clean regularly. I like to clean it out once a week. Make sure that nothing has piled up on the dryer because my dryer is kind of like a countertop area where we basically will just throw a bunch of stuff there and, and it'll just accumulate into a pile of stuff. So I like to make sure that's all cleared off and then I go through and I wash down my washer and dryer area really well, disinfect everything, make it get in all the cracks and crevices, clean the little floor area really good, really get in that lint trap and clean that out really good. And then uh, where the lint where the dryer vent goes outside, I like to clean that little vent off because sometimes lint will go through there and it will get trapped. So, and that is also a risk for a house fire, so I like to keep that all cleaned out. But I would say about once a week or maybe every other week, clean your laundry area or laundry room. Make sure that it stays nice and tidy, nice and disinfected because like I said, dirty clothes are gross. They carry germs and stuff. Disinfect everything in your washing machine. The inside, the, uh, the fabric softener dispenser, the bleach dispenser. Make sure everything is cleaned and disinfected. If you have any other tips for homemakers, list them down below. I will compile them all 
uh, from Instagram and from YouTube. And I will be making a video and giving shout out as long as they are tips that I have not previously mentioned. So go ahead and do that if you have any other ones. And I am off to go fold some laundry. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.